In today's global marketplace with increased complexity and diversity across products, consumers and channels, it is not always easy to execute effectively on a pricing strategy. I'm Adi Vijay Shankar, Fast Track Solution Architect from Microsoft. And in this video, I'll provide an overview of the new unified pricing management capability in Dynamics 365. This video is part of a series that explores this exciting new capability so be sure to check out the other videos in the series where we'll break down the core processes of unified pricing management in Dynamics 365 and you can learn how to configure pricing, apply discounts, manage charges and implement rebate programs with clarity and confidence. Unified pricing management in Dynamics 365 provides a centralized set of advanced capability for managing and executing business to consumer and business to business sales pricing. With centrally managed pricing, organizations can use a single set of tools in Dynamics 365 to plan, manage, execute, and review pricing across all channels. Unified pricing management allows for greater control to ensure your pricing strategy is implemented as intended. Real-time omnichannel calculation ensures consistency of price and discount execution across channels. In addition, a rich set of APIs are provided out of the box for integration. An advanced rule-based engine helps organizations meet pricing complexities and adapt quickly to changing business models with full control using configurable price attributes. Unified pricing management in Dynamics 365 supply chain management is an end-to-end -end solution helping organizations manage pricing constructs with vendors and customers and control prices, margins, discounts, and charges, as well as manage rebates. Pricing can be constructed using a sequence set of pricing components such as price, margin, discounts, charges, and rebates. You can have more than one pricing structure per legal entity. In the price structure, the price determination logic has been built to make sure that we can have multiple sources for price and the final price is determined based on priority. The price can be sourced from trade agreement and if a trade agreement does not exist, base price is applied. This base price can be based on purchase or standard cost of an item or default price specified on the item master. Margin component price adjustment allows for adjustments to the price at the time of order this happens before discounts or charges are applied. There are multiple discount types in pricing management, including simple discount, quantity discount, mix and match discount, threshold discount, free items, and other features like coupons, funds, and claim. We will be covering this in more detail in the later part of this presentation. Charges can be applied at the order header level or at the order line level. The charges capability in pricing management builds upon what was previously available in Dynamics 365 supply chain management and provides additional functionality by introducing price attributes, date ranges, and combination rank. Rebates can be applied as quantity-based, value-based, or lump sum for a specific period. The rebate management capability in pricing management builds upon what was previously available in Dynamics 365 supply chain management and by introducing rebates based on price attribute, it overcomes the constraints imposed by the ability to select items or groups or all items in earlier versions of rebate management. Price attributes can be used across all these price components and it provides a flexible way for you to define your pricing factors. It leverages information about customers, products, as well as sales order header and lines. Extension points are available for you to extend the price attributes. Price groups enables businesses to bundle and rank these attributes together and apply customized pricing strategy more effectively across price, margin, and discount price components. In Dynamics 365 pricing management and throughout this presentation and demo, pricing components refers to price margin, discount, charges, and rebates. 
these are the various building blocks available for your pricing strategy. Price attributes provide a means to target pricing rules based on information about a customer and or a product. So price attributes can also be transactional, set on a sales order header or line at the time of order. Price attributes can be applied across all levels of the pricing structure, including prices, margin component, price adjustment, discounts, charges, and rebates. Leveraging the customer and product attribute frameworks, price attributes are highly configurable, allowing organizations greater flexibility when it is needed. Price groups allow businesses to logically group pricing header attributes such as channels, loyalty programs, and affiliations. These are just a few of the many available pricing attributes that can be bundled into a price group. While price groups are optional, they offer significant strategic flexibility for businesses looking to efficiently adapt their pricing strategy. For example, you can apply product discount across a group of channels or customer segment to streamline promotions. So when it comes to channels, price groups make it easy to tailor pricing strategy based on the operational cost of different platforms like online stores, physical locations, or mobile apps. Affiliations and loyalty programs provide an additional layer of flexibility by allowing you to offer special pricing to specific groups such as employees or loyalty program members without needing to constantly reconfigure your pricing setup. So uh, let's break this down even further. When setting up a price group, you can link it to an attribute group that integrates various pricing attributes such as channels, catalogs, affiliations, customers, loyalty programs, and order header attributes. You have the flexibility to use these attributes individually or in combination with your price group. So when setting up a price or margin adjustment through a trade agreement, you can post the journal using the price group, ensuring that the price or adjustment targets all the attributes associated with your group. This allows businesses to develop more dynamic and targeted pricing strategy with precision. Consider a promotional scenario. You're running an online promotion for members of the Contessu Rewards, Rewards program. You could create a price group that bundles the channel attribute and the loyalty program attribute. You can then apply specific offers such as a free item or quantity discount to this group. This approach ensures that your pricing remains consistent and accurate regardless of which customer segment or channel is involved, providing a unified experience across all products. The first step in the price calculation process is to determine the price of an item before any adjustments, discounts, or charges. The price can be derived from multiple sources, such as the sales price on a trade agreement, calculated as an item base price, the activated standard item cost, or the base sales price of the release product. The price is searched for in a set sequence starting from the sales trade agreement price. When a price is found, the search stops and the value is applied. If no price is found, the price is zero. The release product base sales price is the only price that does not require price competent code setup to be applied. Margin component price adjustments allow for adjustments to the price at the time of order before discounts or charges are applied. So adjustments can be a set amount or a percentage and can be positive or negative. Adjustments can be driven based on order quantity and can compound with other price adjustments within the same price component code and across price component codes. So for example, as a distributor to be profitable, I determined that I need to mark up the inventory cost of speakers by 30%. For televisions, 35% markup is required. So margin component price adjustments might be where you apply a tiered pricing strategy based on an amount or percentage across all items or categories of items, rather than maintain different individual prices for each item across, across each customer tier. Let's now talk about discount types. With diverse needs and consumer demands across industries and business models, 
Unified Pricing Management supports multiple types of discounts. Simple discounts allow for a simple amount or percentage applied to an item. For example, 10% discount on all speakers. Mix and match discount will consider multiple lines on a sales order when determining the discount qualification and calculation. For example, buy two boxes of tea and receive 50% off the price of a teacup. Threshold discounts provide a means to apply a discount based on a minimum spend. For example, 10% discount on purchases over $100. Quantity discounts allow for discounts based on minimum quantities. For example, minimum five items apply 5% discount. Free items will automatically add one or more items to the sales order at no cost to the customer. For example, spend over $500 and get a free copy mug. Coupons are codes that are linked to discounts and used to add discounts to transactions. Fund is a collection of discount amount when any discount is applied that gets deducted from the discount fund. And discount concurrency mode decides which discount compete on a transaction and which discount can be compounded. Now we'll talk about discount concurrency control. So when more than one discount is found for an item, the discount concurrency mode provides a set of rules for determining how these are applied. So exclusive discount, as the name implies, cannot be combined with any other discounts. In the case where multiple exclusive discounts are found, the highest discount will be applied. Best price discount will consider multiple discounts and ensures that the best price for the customer is applied. Compounded discount allow for multiple discounts to be applied. You can also define how the compounding applied is applied. Is it based on the original price or the already compounded amount, etc. Always apply discounts. Ensure that the discount will always be applied irrespective of other discounts applied. For this reason, these discounts are always applied last in the sequence. Price attribute combination rank discounts don't compete based on price, but rather based on which discount has the highest rank within a price component code. Where there are multiple discounts at the same highest rank, all are applied. The charges capability in unified pricing management builds upon what we have currently available in Dynamics 365 supply chain management and commerce by introducing attributes from end to dates and combination rank, working in conjunction with the predefined pricing structures. Charges can be a fixed amount, percentage, or unit based. They can be positive or negative and configured to automatically apply at the time of order completion. Charges can be applied at order header level or line level. They can also be tiered based on the order total amount. Here are some attributes of different types of charges. Delivery charges based on the mode of delivery. For example, if the customer wants expedited delivery for the order, they will be charged an additional fee. Charges based on method of payment. For example, if the customer pays via credit card, they will be charged a merchant fee. And miscellaneous charges can be defined based on specific conditions such as order type, product category, customer group, or any custom criteria. Some examples like special packaging fee, handling charges for delicate items, or regulatory fees. These examples can be used as pricing attributes to set up auto charges in unified pricing management. The rebate management capability in unified pricing management builds upon what was already available in Dynamics 365 supply chain management by introducing rebates based on price attribute. It overcomes the constraints imposed by the ability to only select items or groups or all items in earlier version of rebate management. Some of the existing capability includes price attribute based customer rebate on sales, cross company rebates, calculation per invoice period and agreement lifetime, calculation based on sales order, deliveries and paid invoice, different types of rebates such as value based, quantity based and lump sum rebates, as well as varying calculation and settlement methods. When looking at the overall architecture, you will see that we have the unified pricing engine represented for both the price calculations done in supply chain management and commerce. 
The same business logic is utilized in both scenarios because it is built on the same runtime which includes a collection of portable .NET libraries. This runtime employs the same attribute-based pricing for calculating prices. This capability will be utilized when sales orders are created by back office or call center users. It can also be used when orders are created through customer engagement apps and third-party apps. For customers using Dynamics 365 Commerce, the same engine is employed for in-store users operating point of sales as well as for any external apps or services connecting to the commerce scale unit. And for scenarios where there are needs to customize and extend, then this is of course fully supported. So how about if you want to integrate unified pricing with third-party applications? Here, we would recommend taking advantage of the commerce scale unit and its pricing API. This capability opens for supporting various pricing scenarios at scale and by allowing third-party services like applications or point-of-sale systems to retrieve pricing information while reducing dependency on the back-of-office environment. Here are some scenarios made possible. Get active prices. This API gets a product's calculated price, including simple discounts. Calculate sales document. This API calculates prices and gets discounts for products at given quantities if they are bought together. Get available promotion. This API gets applicable discounts for products in the cart. You can find more details on how to use API by exploring the public documentation on Microsoft Learn. This now concludes our overview of the new pricing management capability in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. Be sure to also watch the other videos in this series. Thank you very much for your time.